Hey guys, so today I want to take a quick look at Ubuntu for the Nexus 4 here. If you didn't know, there's a new operating system coming out for smartphones and tablets. And today you can download Ubuntu and try it out on your Nexus device, the Galaxy Nexus, the Nexus 4, and the Nexus S or Nexus 1, they may support this one, I don't know, but the Nexus 7 and Nexus 10, I'm pretty sure also they, or at least those guys support uh, this uh, Ubuntu release that you can install right now. And this is how it looks like. So uh, let's go over the interface the first time you boot it up. So first we have to have the app section. Uh, this is a place where you can see all your current running apps. So you can see I have my gallery open up right now where you can see everything that's been happening. If I wanna go back, I can swipe uh, like that. So first you have your running apps, uh, frequently used apps, and then the installed apps, and then uh, apps that is available for download. So you can see apps like Evernote, YouTube, Wikipedia, phone and of course this is the beta release so it's not perfect but uh, this is the app section if we swipe one time here we can go to our open apps uh, and then also if you swipe once uh, to the side here you can see that we uh, if we hold in we get a quick little uh, preview here of apps and apps that we can fire up quickly say we want to fire up the camera app I can use release let's see here camera Let's release it and let's pick up a Galaxy S3 here pretty quick and you can see that the camera is working also. Awesome. Doesn't have burst mode but uh, still pretty cool. Zoom in feature works. Uh, we can also record a video. Okay, that one doesn't seem to be working at the moment. I can also record myself. And then of course I can also take a look at the pictures and everything that's been happening here. Here you can see a picture that I did take earlier today. And if we want to go back, we can swipe and then we can see that we now have a new running app here. So that that's pretty cool. It's extremely nice to have this quick multitasking. Um, and then also if you swipe one more time here to the other side we can we have a video section so here we can view videos featured recent popular online so she's fire one of these up you can see the video player built in you're freaked out by my robot head so this is some kind of movie So is this a way to skip? Pretty cool that you can skip here, different intros. So the video section is pretty cool. Uh, the video player looks amazing. And then also we do have a share feature here. We do have some settings. A little bit glitchy at the moment. And we can go back here. So the video section is pretty cool. You do have some videos here that you can check out. And then we also don't have that much at the moment here. But also uh, we have a cool area up here uh, where you first have a search feature up here that doesn't need to be working in this beta. But then we also have, um, like we can see Wi-Fi, audio and messages up here in the top and also the time. And if you swipe down like this, we can basically quickly toggle, let's see here, we can toggle uh, between the audio, a little bit glitchy here course because this is extremely in beta right now but you do have the device feature here uh, to go the sound and the networks and uh, some quick tweaks for that uh, but then also if you swipe like this up here you can quickly to go between a ton of different settings which is extremely useful and I think that we will see a lot more about this in the future uh, pretty amazing right now not that many apps is working uh, I couldn't get ski safari to um, uh, work uh, but if we can fire up the note section here you can also have a quick look at the keyboard here which is looking extremely nice doesn't have any vibration when you type but it looks good and I kind of like it 
So, quickly look here at the uh, Ubuntu for the Nexus 4 if you want to check it out yourself. You can go ahead and do so uh, by installing it and everything on the Ubuntu page. What do you think about Ubuntu? I definitely think it's a market for it because it's a pretty cool OS. Right now though, you can't do that much. Uh, so yeah, quick look here. Hope you have enjoyed. Peace.